crazy guy, Chris Williamson. Come on, give him a hand. That's the Chris Williamson there he is. How about a hand for Peter Bales? I want to mention these people. How about the wait staff tonight? How about a round of applause for your wait staff? Don't you hate it when they don't write your order down, though? Right? Doesn't make you nervous. You know, I was out to dinner tonight. The lady didn't write my order down. Now, God forbid she screws up and brings me a salad. <laughs> I'm not here for your memory, you know? <laughs> A couple guys from my uh, softball team are here tonight. I'd like to thank them uh, for my birthday. They bought me a cup and a sports bra. <laughs> my daughter's into these vampire movies, the Twilight movie. When did vampires stop being scary? Yeah. Right, they're like metrosexuals. You never see a fat vampire. If the guy fights me, he's gonna get a mouthful of bacon grease. Steak in the heart. I love steak. I've already got steak in my heart. <laughs> this will shock you. I'm recently separated as well. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for your applause. <laughs> Thank you, Dino. I tried. I sent her cards and flowers. She sent me bills and a restraining order. <laughs> It's a rough year, I came down with diabetes too. Then she sent me a case of ring dings. <laughs> Ladies, maybe you can relate to this. She said I became her third child. Which is probably why I spent the last two years of our marriage in timeout. <laughs> there were always problems. I mean, it started at the wedding. You know, the church, there's the groom's side, there's the bride's side in the back. There was the Nassau County Police Department. <laughs> and the women were all fighting, right? That's what they do at weddings. So my, she came, my, wife, my beautiful bride comes to me and says, well, Mary and Betty are fighting because they're both wearing the same dress. And I was like, they're both bridesmaids. <laughs> I started dating, too. I actually went out with a lady the other night. She's recently divorced. All she did was talk badly about her ex-husband. She goes, all he did was sit around the house in his underwear, drink beer, and watch football. I said, I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> like, he sounds like a lot more fun. Can I have his number? <laughs> And I love boxing. I mean, my kids grew up around the fights. Guys getting punched in the head, low blows. Finally, I said to my wife, you can't do this in front of the kids anymore. <laughs> it's been one bad thing after another. I, I was sitting home one day, and half my face just stopped working. I got sent to the emergency room. The doctor comes out, he goes, you know, the bad news is, Half your face is paralyzed. You have something called Bell's palsy. The, the good news is I'm involved with the community theater and we're looking for someone to play quasi polo. <laughs> and he recommended I started exercising, so recently I took up power lifting. I'm not even sure how much I lifted today. Does anybody know the weight on a chicken parm foot long? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it romantic though, right? I remember one time when I was married, my wife called me up. She said, you know, I want you to rush home. There's something in the kitchen for you, hot and steamy. I was so disappointed. It was sex. <laughs> You know what they make you do at the 
doctor's offices too, you have to fill out the form, you know, in case of emergency. Who am I going to call? You know, I, I didn't know who to contact in case of emergency. I can't call my wife. You know. So I told the receptionist, I don't know what to put. She said, well, who would miss you if you were gone? So I wrote Betty Crocker. <laughs> Guys, thanks for supporting us tonight. Have a great night. All right.